If you have been using AI tools to create characters for your videos, animations, or faceless YouTube channels, you've probably heard the same war most creators face. You generate one great image, but when you try to recreate that same character in a new scene, boom, the face changes, the eyes are off, the colors don't match. It's like starting from scratch every single time. And for anyone building a visual brand, that's a serious problem. Consistent character generation has constantly been one of the most challenging aspects for AI tools. Until now, I'm going to show you a game-changing solution that's revolutionizing the way creators maintain character consistency across their content. The tool that we're going to use allows you to generate a character once and then use that same character across unlimited scenes, pauses, and emotions without losing their original look. You don't need complicated ChatGPT prompts or prompt engineering. You don't need to serve random seed numbers or try to reverse engineer styles. Easily generate any scene or expression with the same character in seconds. This is perfect for storytellers, educators, animators, and brand creators. It keeps a consistent visual identity across all your content. This is a powerful AI image generation and editing too. But the real magic lies in character consistency. You give context a reference image, a drawing, a 3D render, or a stylized portrait and it lends the visual identity of your character. Then you can use prompts to place the same character in different settings, walking through the city, reacting to something, or performing an action, and Flux context will maintain their exact face, colors, and styles. That's why it makes it perfect for animated YouTube videos, faceless channel, or just as storytelling scenes. Now, how do you access Flux context? You'll find the link in the description below. First of all, head over to open up AI and sign up if you do not have an account. If you already have an account, that's well and good. Just log in. Once you log in into your open up account, select create image. And here on model or character, you need to select a model you're going to use. They have Flux Context, they have Flux Dev, and they have Flux Pro. We want to use Flux Context in this project. So we'll select Flux Context. Once you're inside the dashboard, you will see two major modes. The first one is the prompt mode, where you generate an image from scratch using a detailed text description. And the second one is the only reference mode, where you upload an image and selectively modify it while keeping keeping the overall structure and style the same. Let me walk you through this entire process. Let's start by creating a best character. If you do not have a best character, you can click on the prompt mode, then describe your character in as much detail as possible. Here is what you can include in your prompt. Character identity, like the age, gender. You can add the visual details, hairstyle, clothing, accessories. Add style, is it semi-realistic, 3D anime, or just cartoon, etc. Once you post in your detail, just scroll down a little bit, change the aspect ratio, select the number of images, and click create. And this will be your detailed, high-quality image of your character. I will leave the prompt I've used in the description below so that you can use it as well in your project. From here, all you have to do is download this image to save it into your PC. That's how easy it is to create your character. Now that we've generated our best character image, it's time to keep her consistent in other scenes. To do this, we will click on the Omni reference, upload the character image we just generated. This is where context truly shines. When we click on the Omni reference image, we'll see the option to upload an image. That's if it's saved from our PC. Or click on History. That's if our image is still saved within OpenArt. Or click on Character. That's if we had generated a character. As for me, I already have an image. So what I'll simply do is click on Upload and select my character image and click on open. So from there, I would just say, change the color of the pajama to blue. From there, just change the aspect ratio, depending with what you are creating. Once that is done, select the number of images. As you can see, generating two images will cost me 10 credits, meaning it costs five credits the image. I will click on create. And these are our images. This is the first image and this is the second image. The details are just so exact. Let me bring in my reference image. So this is my reference image and this is the one that has just been generated. The details are just so perfect. Everything is just so consistent beside the outfit which we requested to change. Let's close this tab. Let's try a different prompt using this same image that has just been generated. We just click on Omni Reference and click on History and select our image. Image, click on confirm and let's put in a different prompt. 
saying he is living in his beautiful boat, leaving all the details just as is and click on create. And just like that, you will have the exact character sleeping in his bed, wearing the exact outfit as is in the reference image. Let's try a different prompt using the same reference image. All we will do is delete this one and upload this image as a reference image. When you click on Omni reference option and click on history, if you do not see the image you want to use as a reference image, just close this tab and refresh the page. From there, just go back click on history and you'll see your reference image like that from there just select it and click on confirm i would just type in something simple like he is sitting on the bed and making sure that the aspect ratio is to what i want and click on create <laughs> okay and you have your character seated on the bed like that now if you want to take the editing even more further and more advanced what you have to do is click on chat this is where the magic is at the next level all you have to do is number one make sure that flux context that is selected and from there what you want to do is upload your reference image by clicking on new image we'll select from history select our reference image and click on open and from there here in the text bar we can type in anything specific let's say make this character wear a school uniform and you have your character highly consistent and wearing a school uniform at first it gave me a skirt which made me smile but i changed saying the character is a boy and this is our character wearing a school uniform and the overall details are just so perfect and so consistent from there all you have to do is build up the images according to the scene in your story all you have to do is keep changing the prompts the scenes the facial expression and the background to match the story you are creating let's add two final prompts let's say make our character look sad and you have your character looking sad just like that and finally let's try a final prompt saying change the background to a bedroom and just like that you have your character standing and the background will be changed to a colorful beautiful bedroom now what used to take hours of tweaking can now be done in just a second flux context gives you the creative freedom to generate consistent expressive professional grade image without learning photoshop or 3d tools whether you're building a vestless youtube channel or telling stories through visuals or just experimenting with new characters this is the tool that will unlock that next level so if you've been struggling with creative blocks inconsistent characters or just too much time spent in editing hell try flux context using the link in the description below it's not just a tool it's a new creative partner thank you open at ai for sponsoring this video and to everyone who is new to our channel consider subscribing because a more value awards you if you want to learn more about how you can create animated 3D characters in a dialogue and conversation. Check out this next video. From here, God bless you. Thank you.